When you hear the words rich and wealthy, what comes to mind? Million dollar yachts, private jets, your own island? It's easy to see what mega rich looks like, the billionaires of the world. But what about the regular rich people? The ones who can afford a nice car, a million dollar house, stuff like that. How much do they make? Turns out it's a lot less than you'd think. Go Banking Rates, a personal finance website, surveyed 5,000 Americans, asking them, how much do you need to make to be rich? The average Minnesotan said, a million dollars a year. But what does rich mean? If it means you're in the top 5%, here in Minnesota, your household income only needs to be one-fifth of that, $218,000. Top 20%, 118. That may be the real rich, but why don't we see it that way? If you said to them, you're rich, you'd go, no, I'm not. I'm middle class. Augsburg economics professor Gene Bay says it's basic human nature. When it comes to money, there's never enough. We always need more. People overestimate how much money other people actually have. They overestimate what the income distribution is. They overestimate how much savings they have. They overestimate all of that. And a lot of that has to do with the rich and the famous. Celebrities, athletes, and actors who make millions distort our view of what it means to be rich, Bay says, and TV families that show a normal American family that isn't exactly normal. That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch. Just around the corner. <laughs> I'll get it. The Brady Bunch and the Cosby family, all those kind of people. Those people were really, really wealthy. And they were portrayed as like the family next door. That's not the family next door. It all makes us think we're doing worse financially than we actually are. It's why people worry about money, get depressed about money, and why families fight. But when you look at the actual numbers, if you make $34,000 a year, the average wage here in Minnesota, worldwide, you're in the top 1%. That's right. 99% of the world makes less than you do. We tend to forget really just how wealthy we are as a country. Just in terms of happiness, if you thought about how much you had versus how little you had, you would be happier. Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News.